so hello and welcome back to my channel um in this video i wanted to do something a little bit different i think it's going to be a slow day at work today so i wanted to tattoo myself and so yeah i'm on my way to the shop right now i just ordered a car um so if we get there and it's busy then we'll do this another time but if it's not then enjoy the footage This is my little slice of heaven here at the shop, my little station I have on my artwork and this is where I spend most of my day. Here is the mock-up for the tattoo that I made. Um, it's inspired by a real truck that I saw in person. And then this is the original size that I was going to go with. Um, I actually made it a little bit bigger. Here I am setting up my station. Um, I don't use gloves to set up my station because nothing is contaminated. There is no blood spilt. There is no blood to be spilt yet, so nothing has been um, contaminated with anything that could cause an infection or anything like that. I make sure to disinfect everything after a tattoo, and anything that I'm pulling out of the drawers wasn't contaminated during the previous tattoo, so... Yeah, I don't wear gloves. Um, a majority of the tattoo artists that I watch or see in person don't wear gloves when they set up. It's just tearing down or cleaning, they wear gloves. Here I am looking for a three round liner tight, which I did not have. Um, I found a single needle and then a five tight, I believe and I couldn't find a three. I checked multiple times. And my Dan Cuban, my trusty old Dan Cuban Sidewinder. I love that thing. That thing is amazing. Here I'm just setting up my machine. I usually, I throw my needles out a little bit, probably about uh, five millimeters. I throw them out so that I can see a little bit I do a little bit of white. I have a full black, three drops of gray, and then one full white cap. This is where I am deciding to put it. I asked for some input from my coworkers, and this seemed like the best spot. And here we're starting out. I started out with a single needle and immediately regretted that decision because that really hurt. You can see my face here. I did not like that at all. And so, yeah, I decided to change the needle to a five round liner tight. And yeah, so this food truck is inspired by a real food truck that I saw. And it's something that haunts me to this day. I saw it while I was driving and I, I didn't think it was real. I thought it was very much like something that would be in a video game or like Omega Mart or something like that ice is food and it just had like ice is food and like really exciting letters and then like ice cubes it was a blue box truck and i saw it and i immediately thought that it was it was fake like ice isn't food what kind of truck says that and so i, I think about it constantly and yeah this was just my i needed to get it out in the physical world again <laughs> so i i decided to tattoo it um, I actually had a lot of fun tattooing this design, and I've had it hanging up on my flashboard for a few weeks, uh, just in preparation for tattooing it. I had it stenciled out and just, um, hanging up there, and every person that I tattooed would comment on it. They'd be like, oh, that's a really cool design. <laughs> they loved- everyone loved the box truck, and I think this is probably going to be my most popular tattoo because so far everyone that's seen it has enjoyed the premise of it and the actual box truck and it's a few people that have seen it were asking if i could like tattoo like their dad's their dad's pickup truck from when they were a kid or something like that and that is like definitely something that i think is like a super cool idea i'd love to do stuff like that in the future um since I am a tattoo apprentice, I'm still fairly new to tattooing. I only started tattooing um, last July, so about six months that I've been tattooing. And 
I really wanted to um, do some practice in realism. I, you can see my knee on the other side. That's still a work in progress, and I've, I have to do one more session of black on it before I can start on doing some white on top of black. So to give that some time to heal, I am doing this one in the meantime. Feel free to skip ahead. <laughs> I know you can't really see the tattoo that well, and it's um, it's not that exciting. <laughs> One of my coworkers came over to tell me about um, how we got a haircut, so that was fun. If you look on my other leg, you can also see another realism-ish piece that I did, which is uh. The Allegory of Inclination by Artemisia Gentileschi, who was a female Renaissance painter. And I didn't make a video about that one. This is my first video where I'm tattooing myself. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing that one too. Here we're into the shading. I used the same liner to do the shading. I was just doing sort of like a pepper shading. Um, I like using a liner to shade because I feel like you get a lot more precision when it comes to the small little like nooks and crannies. I had a little bit of trouble um, shading the, the actual box truck end of it, <laughs> but I re I'm really happy with how the cab turned out. What I did is I went and I, I started by doing the lighter parts first, and then I went in and did the, the darkest parts. While I was doing the lining, I just went in and did the the fonts um, just all black in the spaces that they're supposed to be black so that I wouldn't have to go back and do that again. So I, I'm kind of going a little bit backwards than the way that most realism artists do it. Usually they start with the darkest parts first and then move their way to the lighter parts. But I started with the lighter parts and went my way to the darker parts. I did use a, a little bit of Bactine, um, just in between each, in between the lining and the shading and in between the shading and the white, I did a little spray of Bactine just to help with the swelling, and Bactine has a small amount of lidocaine in it so it makes it feel a little bit better, but this actually was um, kind of like a leisurely tattoo that I could do, like I was, I was like posted up just chilling, you know, it was actually like, it wasn't that bad. And maybe that's because the last few tattoos that I've gotten were my sternum and my kneecap, so maybe my my pain gauge is a little bit different since those ones were pretty painful. But yeah, this one was a, a super chill tattoo. I enjoyed it. Okay, now we're wiping it all down. I had to answer the phone. <laughs> I went to go check it out in the mirror and now we're starting on the white highlights. I switched my needle out for this so that the white wouldn't get contaminated by any of the black on the needle or the tube because like even if you try cleaning it, it's still gonna have a little bit of residue. So you should always change your needle when you're doing a white highlight. It's got like a film of the Bactine on it. It's not clean yet, but I just finished. So this is what it looks like from my perspective. And then this is the final result. This is my ice is food truck. <laughs> I really love doing this one. I really love how it came out, especially the cab. I feel like that is the place where it shines. So thank you so much for watching. And um, if you like this video, check out the other ones on my channel.